we think the map is done we've got like six to seven days to do it all so yeah feeling good it's a nice amount of time lots Yay. to see and do Good morning from me, my eyebrows, and Christy. Hello. Christy and I are heading to Sunny Beach. We're staying the night in Port City. <laughs> so we're gonna be exploring the first leg over the next two days. So tonight we're gonna be staying in Port City, which is like almost halfway down the first leg. But our first stop is gonna be Sunny Beach because it's like half an hour away from here. Right now it's like half 11. So it's gonna be a really nice stop for lunch. Yeah, so basically everything Christy said, we're gonna load up the car, <laughs> We hired a car last night. It was only 20 euros a day. Um, and that's a Greek price for a Ford Fiesta. I'm not too sure if this license plate is illegal, but as my dad would say, eh, you're Greek, you do what you want. So there you go. If we'd have got that from the airport, it would have been so much more. But yeah, George got us a really nice discount. Yeah. Thank you, George, shout out. So yeah, I will take you with us and let's enjoy our day. So we just parked up, we're in Sunny. Doesn't sound very Greek, does it? Sunny. <laughs> Sunny beach, sunny resort. There's no accent on it either. It's not like sunny, sunny. Anyway, so we're gonna go wander around here. I think maybe we'll get some sunbeds, do a bit of sunbathing, some swimming, see what it has to offer. We're on the first leg of Halkidiki. So, oh wow, it's fancy. I just see some boats. Should we have a little mooch around, Christy? See what there is? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we're at the marina. There's the boats. We should go and have a look around. It looks quite bougie. Yeah. Guys, Every time I vlog and I say I always forget my sound muffly thing, this is what it looks like. Just looks like this little furry friend. So I'm gonna stick it on now. Right, it's on, so fingers crossed that fixes it. Here are the boats. Well, that's a Greek demo, Christy's got all the kit. She's got her big camera. She's I, got her two. Why do I always look so ridiculous when I travel? It's just because I like to be prepared. I like to have everything on me and I'm going Christy, the beach Christy, we've, we've got a Tesco bag because we're so down to earth <laughs> with all our stuff and we're literally in like the fanciest place with like yachts. Anyone who knows Tesco. Is there any bag that had that big enough? Oh, yeah, I know. We're amazing. I mean, we could buy a bio beach bag, try and fit in with the people here, but can we be bothered? Nah, we nah, we're not that precious. Christy and I just sort of scoping out where we want to sit. Yeah, we're just figuring out like where can we be cheapskates, <laughs> but also be kind of bougie. Exactly. Like, do you know what I mean? It's kind of expensive down there, so it's 40 euros for a bed like down there where it's really bouge, where we walked in, where we had the expensive parking. But over here it's cheaper because it's not yeah. as like, I hope, I need a new word. I always say bougie. I need a new word. Fancy. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Oh. Okay, guys, we just had lunch. We're going to head into the water soon. You ready, Christy? Yes, I need to put some sun cream on my back. Yes. I'm going to do Christy's back with sun cream. And then I think we're going to head into the water, try and get some GoPro footage. My first time using Atch's GoPro. <laughs> Don't Please say. Out, are you gonna tell them? <laughs> there's this. There's wait. I'll just tell you guys. There's this casing you can buy for the GoPro. It's the dive casing. It's dive proof casing. So it means you can go further down into the water with it. Basically, I have it, but it's in the car, like Ash, really far away. Can I tell them? Yeah, go on. So then. Ash said that she had to use the dive casing on the GoPro because he doesn't trust her with using it without the dive casing because of scratches. Yes, because of scratches. Get on the lens. But uh, basically, she's accidentally left it in the car, so she won't be able to use it on this occasion. And we were like, oh no. no. Oh, oh, we forgot no. the dive oh, casing. No. But what I did remember, guys, was the floaty stick. Yes. So, yes, so it's not going to sink. But it's not yeah, bad but... here anyway because it's so shallow. I've seen people quite far out. You might have seen it. But that. we will bring the and floaty they, stick. They no are problem. very no shallow. I'm still going to bring the floaty stick. There's no chance of me losing this blooming GoPro. I'm going to do it. And yeah, touch wood. <laughs> touch wood. <laughs> Christy said <laughs> you have to spit in each eye bit and then you have to rinse it in the sea and then put it on. So, right. Oh, it's nice and shallow for quite a while. Oh, fingers crossed. I wouldn't mind um, renting one of those little like boat things. They look quite fun. <laughs> oh gosh, when you walk into the sea, but you don't even notice the temperature because it's just like body temperature. Whoa, what have I done to deserve this? Nothing.
that like it's soft and sandy like under your feet like so easy so easy <laughs> like what's the weirdest why did I pan to Christy's side? I was like, you're seeing... Why did I do that? <laughs> I think I was trying to show you the sand. I wasn't crowding, so they've already got a really nice Probably shot of my vagina. Probably just got a really <laughs> nice shot of your vagina. <laughs> anyway, anyway. What I was saying, it's really nice and soft, sandy underneath your yeah. feet. But the water is so clear. Yeah, this genuinely feels like a conversation when you've got a blocked ear. This is what having a blocked ear feels like. If anyone's ever had a blocked ear, this is what it's like. That's oh, that's so nice. It's just like an unheard of combination in like England where you either have like soft and sandy but the water's like green and grey and brown. That's basically or, where I live in Chichester. Yeah, or you can get clear waters in England yeah. but it's, it's pebbly and not nice to walk on. What the hell, like I could easily just sit in this bit here where it's kind of it's shallow warm enough. It's well, isn't it? It's warm. It's beautiful. It's body temp. Ow, 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 ow. This is the moment where the water just starts starts to just, just, it goes warm and you feel it coming out of your ear and it's amazing. Oh dear. Oh, she's got... Well, stop filming she's here. She's got a bit of a disaster stop going on. Stop filming here. Oh dear. Wow. Actually, we won't. Let's show the reality. Yeah. <laughs> Let's show the reality. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's tease it out. Oh. Oh, did she lose a bunch of hair? Oh, not too much, no. like one or two strands. Okay. What I'll do is I'll wet my hair. You love sea salty hair, don't you? Yeah, I love it. I, I love went into the it. sea specifically this morning just so I could be salty for the day. Yeah, salty. So it's funny because salty is a bit of an in insult in the UK. Like, oh, she's a bit salty. Yeah, she's a bit salty. She's, she's a bitch. Um, I love to be salty. <laughs> oh, this bit's so nice. <gasps> warm spot right here. Either someone's peed or it's a warm stream. <laughs> Okay, two bottles of wine later, we are in the water. It's a nice hour for pictures. We have had two bottles of wine over the course of five hours though. With food as well. Yeah, with look, food, so it's not as bad as it sounds. I look absolutely iconic. You look amazing. Oh, shall I tell you the story of how... No, I won't. Hello. Okay, obviously I'm out here with Christy. She was chatted up by this guy who was really fit, but obviously she's I, taken. I didn't know at what point to drop in the boyfriend word, <laughs> the B word. He was like clearly like really trying to chat her up. Like his line was like, he was like, how old are you? And I said, 27. And then they looked over at me and I like had my glass one. I was like, she was like, <laughs> anyway, anyway, I said, look, I'm not one of those people who's not going to talk to you because I have a boyfriend. Yeah. I'm just saying. Anyway, he was like, you single? I said, no, blah, blah, blah. So he asked all the questions. I answered all the, you answered, answered all, all of them. them. Yeah. And that's how it happened. Anyway, it's quite entertaining. I've, yeah. I found it It was entertaining. He was I fit. He was actually fit. I should have set Christy up yeah, with him. Yeah, she should have. Basically, that Basically, that was my happened. cue to be like, my friend. My friend is single. <laughs> but she's Looking didn't. to mingle. Don't tell me this isn't fit. Don't tell me you don't find me attractive <laughs> with this on. Don't tell me I don't look like she's had lip filler. Don't the, tell me it doesn't look like on. I've had a lip job. Like... Good morning. I did not vlog any of our nice dinner. Nice dinner, average dinner last night. It was kind of average, let's be the, honest. The food was really good, but the staff just didn't give a shit about anything, to be honest. They were just like, yeah. They weren't like, the, yeah, they weren't the friendliest people I've met. The food was but, good, and there were massive portions. We couldn't finish it, could we? I, I actually think for Greek food, it was quite average, but you know, I'm just gonna be honest, but guys. But you are Greek and yeah. you know, you got high standards. Got high standards. We're in our little like, apartment. room, yeah. I was going to say room left. Got a little kitchen and stuff. Got a little kitchen over there. Oh. Got a little balcony over here. And yeah, it's been really nice actually because these local places are just a bit more friendly than like, you yeah. know, like a big resort or anything. Yeah. Like when we arrived, the host 
I was just chatting to him like in Gringlish, Greek and English. He got us in his car and started showing us like a tour <laughs> at like midnight of the island. Christy, Christy vlogged some of it and um, I was just laughing my head off. Even in the full of season, yeah. in the full of season, you can swim here naked. Nobody, oh. knows, nobody, <laughs> nobody, nobody knows this place, believe me. Funny. So today we're going to go to uh, the Midi, which is called the Nose, which is like the tiny edge of the island, island edge of this uh, peninsula, and just probably going to. I think it's called Pussy Cake. Okay, here we are in the car park. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I did not realise you were doing your sun cream on your bum. Oh, well, just pan away from Christy. We are now at the point closest to where you can walk to the very edge, uh, the very edge of this uh, leg. I'm looking forward to it. I think we're going to take these brollies and chairs that George kindly gave us for this trip. So two little chairs here, a brolly, because down there there's absolutely nothing. So it's just pure beach. heat and beach. <laughs> there's no facilities, there's no loos, nothing. So. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this and there's quite a lot of cars parked up. All the cars have sadly taken all the shade. So, <laughs> so our car is going to be a sauna when we get back but we've just accepted oh, it. Mate, how did we not clock that one? They've just parked underneath the very edge of the tree there. I'm, I'm, I'm bothered by it mate. I've just accepted it's going to be a sauna when we get back. Yeah, just, just acceptance really. It's just acceptance because if you don't accept it then you're just going to get disappointed. Yeah, exactly. Right, we're taking the brolly, we're leaving the chairs and we're just walking with this massive umbrella like this, just for a bit of shade. I'm gonna get Christy under here, um, but I just wanted to show you guys what we're doing. I don't wanna be hooked in the moon with that. She's been walking for probably uh, 10 to 15, 10 to 15 10. minutes. It feels longer, but it's, yeah. really like 10 minutes. it's just kind of hard to walk through like- It's really hard to walk through like fluffy sand. Yeah. And do you see those people? See, I think we post up here, you know? Post up here? Yeah. Okay. We found a nice spot. Oh yeah, George told me the trick to this yeah. is rather than sticking it in, yeah. make circles with it. Yeah. So like go round, yeah. make a big well, and then zhuzh loads of sand over the top. Okay. <laughs> Chrissy and I are trying to make this go lower, um, just so that it doesn't blow away. We have arrived at the midi, and that's the final tip there. We're gonna wait for it to get a little bit quieter. Yeah. Oh, well, well done, Christy. Does that feel a bit nicer? It feels like you've made it more secure. We've got yeah. this very low down umbrella, but it's cozy. Yeah, I like, like it. it. I really like it under here. It's nice. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I'm hoping that that is also acting as a little bit of a windbreaker for your camera as well. Like, I hope you can hear us okay. Yeah, if not, I'll do, I'll dub the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> We've just been taking some pictures, trying to take pictures. It's harder than it looks. And it probably looks hard to be honest if you actually saw some of the photos that have been taken. Honestly. Like, oh no. The wind as well is making it quite hard. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Christy's got her solo launch. So yeah. we're just trying to get some really nice some shots. shots. So I've got, that's why I've got the t-shirt on right now, but I did get hit by a wave. So yeah, it, looks it got like kind of wet. <laughs> so we've done our shoot. It went okay. not so well. Not so great. Good for Leah. Well, I'm blinking in every shot, so we need to take that back. The shoot did not go well. Tell me that you'll open your eyes. Every single shot I've found, I'm blinking, unless it's of my bum, and you can't see my eyes. I got, but, yeah, I, I was lacking in body confidence and I was getting angry at myself for that, but then realizing it's really just because I've chose a bikini that I've never worn before and like, just kind of realizing it's not the one. It's, it's not, not the, the one. one. But that's okay. It is the moral of the story is pick things that you feel confident in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. I, I'd, I'd only tried this one on like really briefly in my bedroom, like I, I, and I didn't. I guess I didn't realize. But we're okay. we're okay. We're going for a swim, and like the most important thing is that I know I'm a fish, and I'm about to be in your element. In my element. <laughs> right. Let's go in. Christy's in there, and she's found fish. I'm just trying to get my mask on and wondering why I am the most attractive person in the world with this on. The current is strong this way. Okay, strong current, don't know if you can hear that. Got it! Let's go!
my the current looks kind of strong but i think that's it for now this has been a beautiful part of the halkidiki the first leg off we go next stop afitos next stop afitos um i'm directing christy and uh, do you know what i've noticed since being a driver i've got better at a little bit better at being a navigator yeah. i've always been a terrible navigator due to my issues with left and right <laughs> but now I've, I've, I've gone up a notch at navigating which i'm thrilled about so yeah I'm right christy straight ahead and take the first right <laughs> Cool, we've arrived in Afitos. Hi Dad, do you like this picture of me in Afitos? Really? Yeah. Wake up. Wake up. Why are your eyes closed in every picture? Every bloody picture, your eyes are closed. So I think we're going to get some lunch um, rather than getting lunch on the go. Very, from the, very from the late place. lunch, but I think we'll just have something really lightweight because right now yeah. it's like... What four, time is it? Quarter past four. I thought it was later than that. Yeah, we are a bit late. It's half four. Oh, it's half four. We're just going to have it's a little our lunch. lunch. I mean, Cri little... Christy doesn't eat breakfast. So just to put that into perspective, she, she, this is the first thing she's eaten today and it's half four. I have the weirdest appetite when I'm in hot countries. Yeah. It's just non-existent. So it's just like a thing that when yeah. I go away, I just lose lose weight because it just kind of happens to you doesn't it, it just does but then when i'm at home i eat like an absolute whale so it does even out <laughs> don't you worry yeah <laughs> whereas i have had my two sort of cheese pastries this morning at the bakery so well i would have been a hangry angry bitch all day if i hadn't have so yeah let's go explore afitos this is what it looks like this is what it also looks like looks like this my bearings also looks like this is that way really yeah okay oh you want to walk towards the sea um, yeah. yeah, okay, let's do that. I mean, that's Yeah, Well done. Maybe it's because I saw it, not because my bearings. <laughs> oh, so maybe we could get food somewhere where that's looking out. Yeah, I could do. Okay. We found this place called Thea Thalassa. It's Future Lear again. I read that as Thea Thalassa, but it's actually Thea Thalassa, which have two different meanings in Greek. Thea Thalassa means sea view, and Thea Thalassa means auntie sea. So Thea and there. Thank you. Goodbye. Wow, your eyes look so blue. Oh, thank Aww. you. It's the, it's the sea, it reflects off my eyes, it makes them look really nice. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I just want something quite light, so I might go for like one of the salads, so I'm just figuring out, or oh, they've got quinoa. Taboule. Mm. Is taboule a uh, Nah, Greek? it's no? not, it's not. Taboule is like, I think it might be Lebanese. Oh, okay. Um, there's always um, lots of arguments about like who had who started what so like for instance hummus is not greek ah, no. no i wouldn't have thought it was i would have thought that was but like... feta is ours yeah so feta we're is having greek. feta yes and then also the biggest argument is between baklava so like baklava okay it, it like turk um everywhere argues who started it okay most greeks say they started it but of course. it might yeah like they do for everything yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, I don't know i don't know it comes from the greek word <laughs> Big fat Greek wedding reference there. Yeah. God, look at this view. It's so stunning. So nice. This is the best spot we've had for lunch thus far. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Yay. This is absolutely beautiful. We just stumbled across it as well. No, we did actually set our nav to Theathalassa, which is this place. Oh, did we? Yeah, but we just parked in the town and then walked to this. Oh, really? We were like, how about there? And then we like picked well, the, it on. The funny thing is, is that when we like like pulled up into the town i said to Lyra, i was like this is really interesting it looks like a wild wild west kind of vibe. yeah it was like really run down i was like i'm not too sure why this village has been recommended but you know we'll give it a chance and yeah then, like, you only have to walk five minutes to kind of get to the cobbled streets no. uh, the cobblestone yes. streets and um and then get to this and it's absolutely beautiful and now we can see why it's been recommended yamas <laughs> yes the feta and then we're just calling my name oh lovely <laughs> Guys, first moussaka of the trip. Baby salad. Christy got one of these. Tally, I know. Tally, vegetable tally, tally. I know I always say no one cares about food in vlogs, but that looks really nice, so <laughs> I'm a hypocrite. We have just had the shopping trip of dreams. <laughs> it was so fun. So unexpected. Very yeah. unexpected. We, we were literally like, we're just going to walk back through the town to the car and we were kind yeah. of getting a little bit lost we, we couldn't remember we could where we were. We could not find the car. I was like getting ready to 
sort of say to a local, like, we can't find our car. Like, you, you were getting ready to stay the night. There. I was like, well, if we've lost it, then we just stay a night somewhere. We find it in the morning. <laughs> anyway, start wandering through. Christy's really good with, like, bearings. So she kind of was like, I think I know where we're going. Yeah. We have to go down this street and this street. So we did, and we came across, like, touristy shops. I bought a stainless steel gold-plated ring. Me too. Christy got the same one. It's a grease <laughs> ring. I, we got this for the car, which Christy is taking home. She also got a big version for... Uh, I really like dream catchers, and basically, I don't actually have one, and that's a big reason for that is because, one, in England, like, they're really expensive, like the nice ones, Yeah. and if it's not one of those nice, expensive ones, it's normally just not that nice or just not quite right whereas the ones i saw in these shops were cheap and i just really quite liked them super like, cute it doesn't yeah look expensive but like I, I just liked it i liked the vibe i liked the style and i was like this is my time to get a dream cut exactly job. and the wooden one you've got for your room at home is like i think looks quite premium yeah it's really yeah. nice it does but it wasn't expensive it was great no is it like 18 euros yeah it's about 18 euros it's a really big one and something that i would guess if i were to get that from like etsy in the uk or something like because yeah. i've looked before they cost like 50 or 60 quid and like that's just something yeah. i can't quite justify the other thing I got, which I'm so excited to show you, is my genuine fake Gucci glasses. <laughs> Amazing, they're incredible. We came across this shop. Uh, Just perfect. And they do genuine fakes. I am. <laughs> I've gone the whole holiday. There's only like four days left, and um, I no sunglasses. Beside myself with happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And just, what about your trousers? Sorry, but they are just iconic. Iconic. Like, we won't tell wait, anyone wait, wait. they're fake. We won't tell people they're ellas, fake. Ellas, ellas trilos? Ellas trilos? Ellas what? Trilos? Oh, uh, are you, okay, you said Saint oh. Legend. You just called me Saint Legend. I um, I think you were trying to say Ise. Ise, like you are. Ise, Thank you, Christy. I'm a legend. Ise, Thrilos. Anyway, so yeah, I got the Gucci sunglasses and and also I got some yellow trousers. They're really um, nice. I really like the vibe. They're really nice. They do need to just be taken up a little bit at the bottom. So I'll wait till I get back to Chichester and I'll go to my lovely seamstress there and she can take them up a bit. But I might just try and wear them a bit on holiday and not scuff the bottoms too much. They're poly gloves. What, wait, what are you looking at? Oh, okay, right. I need to now focus on directions. See you in a sec. This bit's hard. And my heart is set on you. Good morning from me and my Gucci glasses. And Christy. Me and my eye, which is, I don't know what's ha happening. It's just watering and it's just the one, it's just the left eye. I don't know if I got a bit of serum in it this morning or something. Anyway, we don't know if it's like a hay fever or just, yeah, something. Either I got serum in my eye or it's hay fever, but it, it hurts and it's watering and I'm trying not to look people in the eye because yeah. they think I'm crying. I've given her an antihistamine. I um, ordered the coffees. I, by the way, iced coffee is fine for me. I think it's just, I've figured out that hot coffee, for anyone who's been here for a while that subscribed, you know my <laughs> issues with hot coffee. And I think it is just when it's what hot milk. When you drink hot coffee? It just goes right through me. It just goes right through, <laughs> right through me. Anyway, so cold coffee's been absolutely fine. In fact, I've been having multiple cold coffees a day. I can see something at the bottom of your drink that's freaking me out. It's is that the syrup? Ca that'll be syrup, the caramel. Yeah, yeah. As well, they've done a great job of stirring that in, haven't they? I don't know, well that's my job, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, we've come to the seafront for our usual morning of like data backup and all of that. I'm going to get my memory cards out. I'm going to back up everything from yesterday. And also, I think this is probably the end of the first leg vlog since we're now sitting at the top of the second leg. It only makes sense to finish this vlog here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching us on our little travels of the first leg. Yeah. I can't believe we're halfway through. We're over halfway through. Over halfway. It's, so it's really actually. sad. It is very sad. Yeah, I can't believe we've got to go back on the 14th early evening in like two days. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Go follow Christy's channel if you don't already and watch all of her vlogs. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.
find a natural sight Everybody's dancing in the moonlight Dancing in the moonlight Everybody's feeling warm and bright It's such a fine and natural sight Everybody's dancing in the moonlight